In this video, I will talk about a way to record your screen on your iOS device without jailbreak directly on your iOS device. One of the things I like to do on my YouTube channel is to show you different apps that I use. And I have always showed you a walkthrough through all the features and so on in an iOS app. Uh, for example, uh, apps that I use to create content with and so on. Now we have a great way to do that directly on our iOS devices using an app. This app is called AirShoe. With AirShoe you can record what you see on the display on your iOS device and also the audio directly on your iOS device. So you can record a video completely with all the things you do on the display with audio and all that and store it directly on your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. And the best thing is that you don't need to jailbreak. This app Air Show is not available in the App Store so you have to uh, install it from elsewhere on the net from their own web page and after you have installed Airshow you need to go into the settings and uh, allow this app to use your iOS device. So you have to go into device management in the settings in iOS 9 and there you have to allow a certificate from the Airshow developers. So you have to trust this app to be used. And personally, I have uh, allowed this app on my iPad and iPhone. And one thing I don't like with this app is that you need to install another app also. And this app is from the App Store and is called Shoe TV. And it's a mobile streaming service from Asia and uh, you need to install this app to be allowed to use the screen recording app Airshoe. And when you have installed Shoe TV, you have to log in with uh, one of your accounts, for example, Facebook, Twitter or Google account. And after you have logged in with that account in Shoe TV, then you are allowed to use this screen recording app. To me that's the only drawback with this app because it records really nice videos directly on your iOS device so I really love this app. You don't have so many settings in the app though but uh, it's enough. You can uh, choose to have it in landscape mode or in portrait mode and so on while recording. So I will start using this app when doing some uh, app walkthroughs and, and I want to show you different things in different apps that I use and so on. So from now on you will see a lot of recordings I do with apps directly on my iOS devices. So I am still post PC. Okay. Bye.